Today, we are going to compare two popular cameras, the Sony RX1R2 and Leica Q-Type 116. We are going to take a look at their features, who they are for, how they perform in various use cases, user experiences, and which one is the right one for you. Links to both of the cameras will be listed in the description below. Let's get started. The Sony RX1R2 and the Leica Q-Type 116 are two digital cameras that were officially introduced respectively in the 13th of October 2015 and the 10th of June 2015. Let's take a look at how their specs compare to each other. We tested both cameras to assess their performance in different scenarios. Let's take a closer look at our ratings for each of them. Here are our ratings for the Sony RX1R2. For portrait photography, we will give it an 8 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it an 8 out of 10 rating. Here are our ratings for the Leica Q-Type 116. For portrait photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Next, we will take a look at some sample photos from the Sony RX1R2 and the Leica Q-Type 116. Keep in mind that these photos have editing done to them, so the result from your camera might be different. Let's start with the sample photos. Here are some sample photos from the Sony RX1R2. And here are some sample photos from the Leica Q-Type 116. Next, let's take a look at what other users of these cameras have to say about them. Here's what people have to say about the Sony RX1R2. This camera is not perfect, but it's probably the best you can buy for great pictures. The lenses and sensors are top-notch, and the UI allows for intuitive use. The battery life is a big downside, with one battery per hour of shooting, but it can run on USB power. A screen protector is a must, and extra batteries and a UV filter are recommended. Overall, it's great for street photography, portraits, and landscapes. I was nervous about getting such a small camera, but the Sony RX1R2 exceeded my expectations. The Zeiss lens is impressive, with a macro mode and smooth manual focus ring. The sensor is powerful, with a 42.4 megapixel full-frame Exmor R CMOS sensor. The variable low-pass filter works well, and the build quality is solid. Overall, I'm impressed with the performance of this compact camera. Here's what people have to say about the Leica Q-Type 116. This camera is fantastic. It has everything I need and nothing I don't. It has a great lens, manual dials, excellent low light performance, fast autofocus, and a high resolution EVF with no lag. It feels like an old school film camera with modern features. I love that they left out unnecessary function buttons. Highly recommended. I didn't start using this camera seriously until my recent trip, and I was blown away by the quality of the photos. Compared to my Canon 5D Mark III, the Leica outperforms in sharpness and color. The full frame size and ease of use make it the perfect camera for me. Despite the fixed lens, I'm in love with the picture quality and have no issues with the inability to zoom. To conclude, here are our overall ratings for both of these cameras. Sony RX1R2. We will give it an overall rating of 9 out of 10. Leica Q-Type 116. We will give it an overall rating of 9 out of 10. 